Hello guys and welcome in this video. Today we're going to talk about the way of breathing in planche. Lately we talked about planche as an horizontal extension. But if you're full of hair and if you don't manage correctly the way you're breathing, you will simply not be able to extend horizontally. Then we can simply verify it like this in being up. I will take all the air in for a short time and then as you can see my abs are passive if I stay full of air okay now I will simply keep my air in and try to extend up as if I would be planching this is clearly not working and I feel really passive all around my chest and my abs now I will simply exhale all my air and now you can see the link between the way you're breathing and the muscle reaction but this is not the only point now if I keep exhaling and I try to extend again now it's really more effective and I feel really strong now you know that the way you're breathing is allowing you or not to activate the muscle correctly and is allowing you or not to extend the right way the way of breathing help you to extend then to hold but there is a specific way of breathing for push-up and for presses let's see it together then during push-up as during press we will exhale quick during the first phase of the power move i mean for push-up we will then begin to exhale quick to get some core tension in the beginning of the push-up sure not on every push-up if you're spamming and for the press full you're gonna exhale too in the beginning of your movement and finally to go down with your full planche negative you will first have to engage yourself with your vision in your head feel your anterior deltoid plus exhale progressively till your horizontal we're gonna exhale at the moment to take our position then we will go down if you don't have any more air here you can take some and then we're gonna exhale quickly to get some core tension in the beginning of the power move then first exhale a little take the position then go down close yourself a little then and I had some more tension with the way I was breathing and finally about the press you will have then to exhale during the first phase of your press then I will just show you and it's the bonus of the day then to say thank you because it's big tips please share it to your friends like the video or let us a comment your press have to be done in two phases okay then the first phase for the 70 or 81st percent are sure strength but in the end you have to distend yourself let your air go to let yourself go in the vertical line of the handstand and extend in that same line finally when you got your balance you have your hair you're ready to go down in your beginning with the negative it's better to cut this movement into two phases first the head trajectory and the shoulder engagement and secondarily the way of going down and following the trajectory of your head and exhaling let's see it together as we were saying the full bench press is not only the fact to bring the shoulder up it is the fact to follow the trajectory of your head going down press sure with your shoulder in bringing your point of foot at the same rhythm till the vertical line of the handstand then we have two phase first going down with the head and pushing with the arm then as we said before distend yourself exhale and extend in the vertical line of the handstand first take position take grip go straight go down 45 degrees in exhaling to get our hold okay now we have our hold i will first keep the trajectory with my head then press with my shoulder but if i don't distend myself right now i cannot go to my handstand then now i'm gonna exhale distend myself and put my head between my shoulders now i'm here on the handstand i can take my air breathe it's okay now i'm done with resting here i will first engage my head in front of me to feel my shoulders here i feel my shoulder engage and if you begin with press it's better to stop here quickly then here you got your hair and all you have to do is follow the line of your head in exhaling 
Okay, bro, now you know that breathing is important, need to be synchronized with the way you're practicing your skill. Now you know how to do, then keep pushing and breathing. If you want to support the channel and say thank you for the last time, you can simply share it to your friend or on your social media. You can like the video or even let a comment. I will read all that you say. We see each other in the next video. See you.